so this is more on uh, well no it's a separate video if you're uh, I guess my mother's generation was the last to really involve themselves in this but uh, burying I believe a Saint Joseph or maybe Saint Anthony uh, statue upside down uh, in your yard for the house to sell uh, is this according to the Catholics heretical no it's folk Catholicism folk Catholicism isn't necessarily heresy um, or maybe some Roman Catholics want to challenge me on this since I'm not a Roman Catholic which is fine uh, but again that's how most of Catholicism started off is was with the people paganism means the people usually the people who aren't weren't in the cities that's how it got its name but uh, or supposedly but it's just the, what the peoples do um, we have the tradition of uh, the prayer rope which originally was the prayer beads which started in ancient Christianity and then spread to the Hindus the Buddhists the various other religions Islam obviously took that from us um, I always had thought it went the other way, that it started out with uh, Hindus or Buddhists or other people and came to Christianity, but it, it didn't. Uh, and the idea of spells or incantations, these are, are blessings or things like that, we would recognize them now. It was with the rise of Protestantism and with the rise of things like the Malleus Maleficarum and all that garbage uh, that took these and said, oh, these are paganism and this is what witches use. But the pagans, the ancient pagans, if you look at the Greeks or the uh, Romans or what little we know about the Celts, uh, with Druidic religion, they really, there's no signs that they had these things, right? This was ancient medieval Catholicism from various parts because they each had their own uh, flavor of practices right around Europe whether it was Celtic whether it was Latin whether it was uh, Nordic and they uh, later on this was seen as or if you went to a different place it was seen as uh, magic or whatever even in the Bible oak groves were very significant um, in you know 3000 BC this continued on but now these people go around in pointy hats and and do all this stuff and what they're calling paganism is a it is naturally from the people and wasn't didn't come directly from the church but was not well it came from the church because the people are the church but not the necessarily the hierarchy they're misunderstanding what the how the catholic peoples in their eclectic ways practiced their devotional Catholicism. The, some of the oldest Bibles um, and even medieval Bibles will have next to uh, scripture and they'll have prayers, they'll have quote unquote spells or incantations. I mean, we bless objects, we have certain words to go over different objects, water and even the lighting of the fire and the flames and all this stuff, right? This is where the the Protestants would look at us and say that's you got that from the pagans. No, modern day, quote unquote, paganism is just a misreading of what happened uh, during medieval times. Accusing people of being a witch didn't catch on until Protestantism came, and it was a really way to suss out the Catholics or blame somebody if some cattle died or if some people were sick. A way to root out heresy and just. I mean, everything got put on people. Homosexual, you're a Jew, you're a Muslim, you're a, or they'd call them a, a Mohammedan or Saracen, you're a witch, you're this, you're that. So uh, everything would get attached to them, right? The Salem, people killed during Salem weren't witches, right? The, the Templars weren't witches. The, these things were things extracted out of torture or done in a very uh, persecutorial time. The people going to Salem and acting like there's witchcraft there are shitting on the deaths of those people and they're fucking around and playing around same thing with the templars the templars as soon as they stopped torturing the templars they said uh they repented and when they were dying they 
I should add that when they recanted, they recanted to Christianity, and even when they were being executed, like being burned alive, which actually takes a while, they would call out to God. The few accounts we have of uh, what, well, there's not few as in few, but comparative of execution of pagans, they would usually curse the people um, executing them and or call out to their gods or try to show like uh, with the Nordic pagans um, steelness in the face of, of death not to make any uh, you know not to uh, show any fear or uh, you know say they're sorry or anything like that or forgive the people they would you know like Conan <laughs> that's basically like the the Vikings so uh, what these people who go around, oh, it's, well, Wicca was invented, uh, is very new religion, so with Druidism, and that has no ancient connection to anything, quote-unquote, pagan in the past. What people are doing with wearing pointy hats or with these incantations or whatever is a misreading of, uh, <coughs> of, folk Catholicism or ancient uh, medieval Christian practices that were, no, uh, were that were the norm. The idea of the the cooking pot and the hearth being the center of life, well yeah it, it was for those people and those objects anything made from steel or anything like that yeah it was highly important, it was blessed and there's no way to really go back to that unless you go into a very Catholic place or some place that has a not place where there's not a tight control on like Islam like central Indonesia where you actually do get some of the old pagan stuff coming in to the uh, the worship of that but unless you're actually living in circumstances where that cooking pot is your most valuable possession and uh, you're living at the whim of nature you're just playing at being some pagan that never existed it's just a hostile view through Protestant eyes and then taking that misreading of Catholicism through Protestant eyes taking that bigoted anti-Catholic view uh, and then saying oh this is this is Wicca or this is what these are spells pagans didn't have I mean for the majority of Europe they didn't have that kind, of, that kind of stuff came in with the church, right? Uh, just like pagan temples or holy places for them. It wasn't... Yeah, the Vikings had open-air places of worship, and so did the Celts. The Viking, the Nordic people really didn't have the idea of a holy place, unlike the Celts, which did. But then again, these people didn't read and write. Uh, so things that were recorded as pagan was a certain monk's view of what happened and he got to write it down. Uh, even Beowulf is, you know, it's, it's from an older time. It's an Anglo-Saxon tale, which is uh, the Anglo-Saxons were, Anglo-Saxons and Jutes were from Scandinavia, but it got written down in, uh, Angle land. Uh, I think it was even under the Dane law that it got written down. So yeah, this anybody who's like, I'm a witch, this is paganism. No. If you want to actually go to what is truly pagan, uh, southern Italy, and this is not a slam, southern Italy, uh, central Mexico, where they actually, the people actually had these beliefs for a long time and actually do live next to the spirits and stuff like that and most of these modern day Wiccans would probably go down there and say oh these to either of those places and say oh they're just ignorant that's what makes them that well whatever but I'm using paganism here in a few different with a few different meanings I'll do other videos on this of what is pagan from the view of monotheism. 
and I'll get into that. Peace to you.